Guys, go check out our Patreon where you can get our daily morning show and next week's episode today. Hey, what up, man? It's the boy J. It's the boy D. And uh, we back with the Basement Yard, buff. B-Y, podcast, all up in your butt cheeks. That started as an accent, and then it ended as nothing. Yeah, it's all right. I you don't didn't know commit what I to said. the character. That's the problem. I, I, I don't even know what I was going for. I'm very confused by what I just said. You have commitment issues. Uh, apparently. Yeah. I don't know what the hell that was. I think you could have went with it, and I would have wrote it out, but I kind of saved you at the end, but it's all good. Dog. Yeah, thank God you're here, because that would have been just a terrible <sighs> thing. Um, Thank God you're here. Yeah. Just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, real quick before we start, start the show, two things. You One, said chart. You said chart. Before we chart on the show, um, which I almost charted before, by the way. I'm over here farting. It sounds like I'm playing with marbles in my asshole. Yeah. It sounds like someone's playing jacks in your ass. It literally sounds like that. Yeah. It's crazy. It sounds like you took two metal balls and you're clanging them together. Yeah. What you know that those... little vibration sound? What That's was that? Ass. Remember those balls that like old wise people would like rotate in their hands? Yeah. Like, what the fuck were those? I don't know. Like philosophers used to play with them when yeah. they would talk about the planets. Yeah. It's weird. I kind of want them now. I don't know if I'd be good at it. I don't know if my hands are big enough. Yeah. I don't know. Wow. Yeah. What are you doing now? You look like a cat. Mm-hmm. Um, two things. Yeah. One, um, thank you to all the new patrons on our Patreon, patreon.com slash the basement yard. Best. And we have uh, the daily show, the morning meeting. Definitely go check that out. You get to find out what things are coming out for the week. And like we do a, a 15 minute show every single morning, Monday to Friday. So if you don't know about that, go check it out. Okay. Patreon.com slash the basement yard for the morning meeting. Um, also second thing we just received today. I mean, this is going to be like a week or two after, um, the fact, but we just got pictures from the, uh, primary school in Kenya that we donated money to in December. We took the Patreon, uh, money and we don't, we built a, we funded a well, uh, in Kenya and it's gonna, they sent us pictures. I posted on my Instagram and, um, yeah, it's providing clean water to over 400 people. So it's like, it's fucking awesome. It's amazing. It was just, it was just crazy. I got the email and I was in the other room and I was just like, Oh my God. Yeah. I thought something bad. I thought I did something wrong. No. Yeah. It was crazy. Cause they, they actually held up a sign that said like, you know, thank you to Santa Gato studios and Joe Santa Gato, which is like insane. I, I'm just, it's crazy. Floored. Yeah. Floored. I am the floor. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Probably the best thing I've ever done in my life. Been yeah. A, been a part of. It's fantastic. Yeah, easily. It was crazy. It's good to help people. Yeah, it's nice. It's the best feeling in the world, actually. Um, but anyway, let's talk about farts. Yeah. Uh, poop, fart, uh, doo-doo nugget. <laughs> we just got to get those out of the way. Doo-doo nugget? No, but me and Joe have been having this conversation between each other, I guess probably for like the last like month or so. Well, no way. I think so. Really? Yeah, I think I brought it up like a month ago. Sorry, my ear is itching. I think I brought it up like a month ago. That um, Joe's a type A personality and I'm a type B personality. Mm-hmm. But Joe was saying that he feels that he's type B-ish. Yeah, I got some B in me. But I'm saying 80-20 A. But I got B. Yeah. You say you're 100 B? 100% B. I maybe have like some like A traits, but I'm mostly a B. I'm a, I'm a B. I'm a B bitch. <laughs> you are very B. Yeah, I'm a B. Yeah. I, I, I will admit that I am sort of A, but I feel like I'm a fake A. I feel like I'm mostly B, but I want to be A or something. Yeah. I'm a phony A. I wouldn't say you're a phony A. I'm a I, phony A. I think... Phony I, A! Well, yeah, there's a situation uh, like... All right, so here's how I know you're A and I'm B, okay, right? Okay. I, I'm a crybaby boy. I cry a lot. Yeah, but I also cry sometimes. Right. Here's where I'm going to get you. Okay. If I'm crying, you mm-hmm. never come over and be like, oh, it's, right. it's going to be all right, man. Like, you'll be like, I'll let him, I'll let him cry it out. Right. Me, I'll come over there, like rub your head or something, like rub your back. Like, well, I, right. at least for me, I think that when someone's really upset. Yeah. Um, no, if you really were really upset and you, and you needed me to come over there and hug you, I would. Yeah. But if it's a situation where it's like. You're trying to, you know, be strong in that situation. I feel like people like that, they need someone to be there who's just, like, calm right. and, like, ready to just be like, yo, like, it'll be fine. Like, you're good. Yeah. Like, having someone who's, like, someone's not reacting in a, in a way that's going to make me more upset. Because, like, the worst thing is, like, when I'm upset and then I'm good as long as no one talks to me. But if someone goes, you're all right, then I'm like, I'm not all right. And yeah, then I yeah, just yeah, collapse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I just it's like, kind of, can be the, the put you over the edge question. Yeah. Which someone's like, you deep. good? And then like, you have to open your mouth. And as, as soon as you open your mouth, your tear ducts are like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, opening. Yeah. But tears I'm, 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 a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, you're a big cuddly guy. You cons- want to hug? Consoler. 
Yeah, you want a hug? I'm a bit consult. No, nah, I'm good right now. No, I'm saying it'll like, come though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it'll Wait, come. you're gonna come? I always come, baby. Yeah, you know the drill. Yeah, I do. But yeah, but uh, so I found this test online. <laughs> yeah, and it had dot edu on it, which means it's smart. Yeah, which means that a professor did it. Yeah, so somebody with a brain made this. We're in college, guys. Yeah. So there's a score spectrum here. Um, basically, it's 20 questions, and the range is score from three, uh, from 35 to 380 what the fuck yeah low score low scores are type b high scores are type a so i'm guessing half of 380 puts you in the b range okay and then above that probably puts you in the a range and then Mm -hmm. we can break that down percentage wise and then we can break that down even to smaller things if you want okay (laughs) sounds like too much math but oh um, man so i was thinking we take do we should we say what our answers were first like as we talk about it. Wait, you you did this test already? No, no, no. I have it right oh, here. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, I think we just do it and we talk it out and then we we put our answers. Okay. Because we can't have no lies. No lies. You know, no lies. No, no lies. Lie- 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 None of that. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah. All right. So first question. Yeah. Uh, when you are faced with an unfamiliar problem, what do you usually do? Address the problem immediately. Think about what to do and then take action. Or sit back and let things work out for themselves. I think about what to do and then take action. I think I do that as well. I need I need to have a thought process for, for anything. But you are impulsive. I am impulsive. I can fly off the handle. I can have things where I get upset really, really fast. Mm-hmm. But I would say... Actually, you know what? I think I do address the problem immediately. I think you are a, react, like you are a reactive person. Yeah. Like something happens and you're like, that's it. <laughs> yeah yeah that's true that's true yeah. i would say i'm more of that i'm trying to be more if i'm being honest i'm gonna have to go and address the problem immediately yeah i think that you're you're more like impulsive when it comes to stuff like that. yeah 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 i'll I'm, get i'll get tight like real fast i'll get i'm in my head so i'm yeah. just like i'm thinking about every way out of this or whatever i gotta do yeah you yeah know? all right you want to read the next one uh yeah sure um Compared with other students, how quickly do you usually complete your class assignments? Okay, this is a throwback test, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> usually finished before everyone else. That's you. Uh, I finish <laughs> faster than most of my classmates. I finish right on time. I frequently turn in assignments late. That's me. <laughs> I would say, I, yeah, I usually finish before everyone else. I'm, a, I'm a quick test taker. Yeah, you're a pencil down wait, dude. Uh, wait, so, um... Okay, I'll say I'll... you. Uh... I feel like most people... Or maybe I finish faster than most of my classmates. I would want to say I'm the first one done every time. Yeah, that, just, I, I'm a quicker test that, taker and stuff. Yeah, or if might, I get a worksheet, I've gotten in trouble in, in high school of like, I get a worksheet and I just start working on it and he's like talking and then like he yells at me because I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Because it's like I'm doing the worksheet. But like, I, I would say I finish faster than most of my classmates. Okay. Okay. okay so and I'm, I'm going with I frequently turn assignments late because that's what I did in school. There you go. I'm just being honest. Uh, has anyone ever told you that you talk too much? Yes. You say yes often. So it's yes often, a couple of times, once, no, never. I don't know if it's often. Yeah, I don't know if it's often either. I think it's a couple of times, like, people would just be like, yeah, like, talking a little bit too much. Yeah, like, chill. Like, chill. Especially if I'm confronting somebody. I love how they put once. Like, I fucking, like, yeah. I would know that. Yeah. That it happened one time. Yeah. Um. I would say, like... If me and you were in a room, we never shut the fuck up, though. Yeah, yeah, but no one ever says that they I, that I talk to. I don't. No. I feel like people don't say that to us. It's the content's good, right? The content's good, but there are there are times where I know me and you are just talking, and we don't care who else is in the room. Yeah, but no one ever goes, "Guys, shut up." Yeah, it's true. So yeah. I would say, I would, a cu- I would say a couple of times. I've definitely been told, like, "Yeah, like you're talking too much." I'll say a couple of times just because, like, I feel like. It had to have happened over the years. For sure. But Absolutely. More I, than once. I can't really recall, though. Yeah. Like, I don't... I don't know. It's, it wasn't once, and it's not no, never, and it's not yes, often. Oh, boy. This next question. During normal conversation, how quickly do you speak? Faster than most people. Yeah, I, I speak very quickly. Yeah. That was an easy one. That's it. That, it like, uh, the other answers were at an average pace. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. And then if you s- talk really slow, I'm, I'm, gonna out. Be, I'm worried about you. If you're talking slow to me, yeah. I, I don't even want to talk. Like, get get there. Yeah. I, I don't want to talk to you. I, lo- I hate when people be like, yeah, so. I'm like, bro, 
talk. You do that sometimes. Though. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've because, been doing that today. Because I've been trying to think about shit. I know. I've been trying to be more, more like, uh, I want to process my thoughts a little more. Danny, I've, uh, he, he would just like be, he's like physically having an emotion. <laughs> you know, like either he's like, or he's whatever. And I ask him about it. I'm like, yo, what's up? And he's just like, you know. And I'm like, no, what's going on? And he's just like, you know, it's just, just you know. I'm like, dude, what's going on? And, and then it, now I'm frustrated because it's like, clearly we're going to talk about it. Can we just get there? Yeah. Can yeah. we just talk about but it? But sometimes I'm not. It's a not, four question follow up. Yeah, yeah I know. It's not there yet, though. You know what I'm saying? The, the fuck. Well, don't be breathing at me. That, that's true. Your, yeah. your body's breathing at me. That's true. That's true. I could breathe on you less. Breathe on me less. I hear you. I hear you. Know no one wants I mean? to get breath on. No, you can't breath on me. You can't breath on people. Uh, that breathing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. I'm a side guy. Big side guy. Oh, you're a sire. Big side guy. A sire. <sighs> yeah, you're good at sighing. Yeah, I'm a very good sire. Do I sigh? I uh, sigh when I'm angry, I think. Do I sigh angry? No, you don't sigh when you're angry. I angry sigh, I think. I think you'll just be like... Like, that's <laughs> that, that's like the most of it. Like you, I feel like I... I like, your whole like, face changes. When I'm angry? Yeah. I'm, like, not, I'm not bubbly? It's very easy to tell when something's bothering you. One you just shut down completely. Do I? Yeah. Damn, I don't like that. But it's not you it's not like you shut down like emotionally. It's just like I'm quiet. Yeah, you shut down. And then it'll be like, yo, like if you want to like do this or do that, it's kinda like, all right. So I'm just like, damn, dude, I might as well just do it now. So don't get yelled at. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I do do that. And I, I don't like that I do that. Yeah. I would I would like to have more of a control over the uh my emotion. I think I've gotten a lot better because I know times in my life where everything was like explosion. Yeah. Like get super angry or like get like super upset. Yeah. And then I was just like, oh, we just, you know. You know what I hate? Let's, when, just, let's just think a little I bit. I hate here. when people like there's a small problem that happens and they just let it bother them for hours. I'm like, all right, fucking grow up. Yeah. yeah I get yeah. angry. Yeah. That's why I try to like just sit with it and then, you know. But I just feel like people like. If you if you're feeling a certain way, mm. I'm gonna internalize it because you're my friend and I don't want you to be upset. But sometimes you have to know where like you can't help in a certain situation. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough for me as yeah. a person to know like when I feel like helpless, it makes me feel bad as a person. So like if I hear you like do a sigh or you're upset, most of the time you don't like to be talked to. So I'll talk yeah. to you less, but. I feel bad as a friend because I'm not helping you. Does that make any sense? No, but you are doing by doing that. I think. Yeah, by, I, by I, giving uh, you space, it's yeah, doing the right thing. I I do like like to handle things. I'm like, I I really don't, especially when I'm like really bothered by something or something that someone no, no one even knows about. Yeah, and I'm just like just shut, please shut up. Yeah, yeah. Like, even I know you inside, know, like in your chest, you're like, yeah, stop, just don't just, talk to me, just stop. <laughs> like another thing too, like with you is like giving you advice. Like I don't like to give you advice unless you ask for it. Why? Because I feel like when you're in a zone and I'm like, you know, like you should think of it like this. You're kind of like, I can't do that right now. No, I, I, I welcome advice. I love advice. No, I'm not saying you don't love advice. Yeah. I'm just saying there's a time and a place. No, I think that at any point I, I'll, I'll take some advice, but I'm, I'm very critical of advice. Yes. Like if someone gives me advice, I, I, you would never know, but I'd be like, well, I'm not fucking listening to that. that was bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> like, more of what I'm getting. You ever at. get advice from someone and it's just like, wow, that fucking sucks. Probably 80% of the time. And, and I don't know if that's a me thing. Like I just, no. have, like I have a problem just being told like not what to do, but like being told like advice from people where I'm not in the actual position that where i want to receive it yeah what the fuck did you just say what was know. that whole long-winded thing that i don't know i don't know i honestly forgot that entire sentence already <laughs> yeah i don't know it was like a, it was a, something it's just sometimes i do get an, a, advice from people who are trying to be nice and i'm like dude what the fuck is coming out of your face I, sometimes people give me advice and i'm just like do they do you honestly live with that being in your mind like do you believe what you just said yeah like that's how you live out there yeah that's so, ridiculous and then i go back to that ah, they're just trying to help no, yeah, of course. You and I'm not, that's why you're not mean. But in my head, I'm like, this guy's fucking nuts. Yeah, that's definitely in one ear, out the other. For yeah, sure. I'm like, well, I'm throwing that out yeah. immediately. So you we, know what I'm saying? But we definitely talk faster than most people. Yeah, talk faster than most people. Um, how often do you finish other people's sentences because they speak too slowly? Oh, fucking all the time. And I've you just... finished their sentences? And I've just noticed this. Just be like, nah, so like, 
say like you were getting ready to take a flight, right? Yeah. And you're talking to me to be like, yeah, so I'm on, uh, I'm at the gate and uh, you know, I'm waiting to get on the, and I'll be like on, on the plane. And you'd be like, yeah, on the plane. Like I'll do that. I don't know why I do it, but I, for some reason, if there's a space in your speech, I have to, you want to fill, I want to, you're fill. playing Mad Libs. Over yeah. There. I'm a filler. This should be like, you know, so I'm sitting in the, um, in this, in the fucking it, chair, asshole. <laughs> it's like, I'm sitting in the, the, the sky lounge. Yeah. 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 The sky lounge. I'm like, dude, just get this out of your mouth. Yeah. Like hurry I up. need it. It's just, yeah. I need it out of your mouth. Yeah. I need it from your mouth. Hey, hey, weird. Sorry. Sound like a bird. But uh, no, I, I don't, I don't finish anyone's sentences. You know what it is? I just get really angry. I hate that about myself, by the way. I usually just interrupt and I go, come on. I think I did this to you the other day because you were having trouble like saying stuff to me for some reason, but you were, cause you were like on your phone and you were trying to do like three things at once and talk to me. And you were starting a sentence like five times in a row. And then after a while I was like, Danny, what are you saying? Yeah, that happens. So like, I won't finish your sentence, but I'll be like, can you restart yeah, yeah, yeah. regroup? I'll go, I'll leave the room if I have to. I'll come back. Yeah, I, need, I definitely need to regroup at times. I'm a big regrouper. <laughs> yeah, because you sure. because you try to do two things at once, and it's like you sometimes you try when you have your phone out to talk to me, and you think you're doing a good job. Yeah. you're doing an awful job. Though. Hey, listen. Like you can't you can't do that two times. I'm I'm even worse. Like if I have my phone out, this kid I can't won't hear anything. He won't respond to me, and I'll be like, yo, so like, all right, yo, so I'm gonna book this guest. Are you okay with them? being on the show or like is it somebody that you want and won't answer me and it's the most belittling shit i've ever felt because i know you don't mean anything by it yeah but it's almost like i'm not here right <laughs> so, I, so i'm just I like i can't multitask i won't ask it again too right. yeah, i'll yeah. just leave I'll, right. I'll leave the room <laughs> like i used to be like yo yo yeah and then you're just like what's up and then i'm like yo this kid just summed the shit out of me so i'm just like yeah i'm gonna go in the other room regroup <laughs> And I'll come back with the question better. It, my thing is, though, like, personally, I would rather that than someone be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got to repeat myself. And then it's like, you're not looking at me and just looking down. It's like, you know, yeah. yeah no. I agree with that. It's like, because that's annoying. I see, I see that. Because then I'm like, all right, like, whatever. Like, me, if I'm trying to talk to someone. You're insulting I, I, my intelligence at that point. No, it's not even that. It's just that, like, you think you're doing something. And it's like, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, I, I don't, I'm not offended, but it's just, it, that's way more annoying. If, if I'm talking to someone and they just like don't answer me, then I'm like, all right, they're doing something and I'll just like wait or whatever. But if they're like, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. Writing and I'm like, you, Yo, writing, you have no idea what I'm saying. Yeah. Writing you off a little bit. Yeah. That yeah. one's more dismissive to me. I get that. I don't know why. But I definitely do frequently. I would say almost never. I don't finish anyone's sentences. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, have you ever been waiting at the doctor's office 30 minutes past your appointment time and have several chores to do when you get home? What do you do? Um, oh, I know mine. I get impatient and somewhat angry. Oh, I get fucking livid. Yeah, because it's like, yo, dude. Like, Wait, no, but but the last one, it says, so you either read a magazine, keep checking your watch, get patient and somewhat angry, or complain to the nurse. I feel like you're a complainer, though. You're a, talk, you're a talker. I do complain. So you might be like, ma'am, I really need to do something. About it. Like, I won't talk to anyone. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a person, too. Like, there's another thing that you do. We go in stores. Kid refuses to ask people where things are. I'm a huge asker of yeah. where things are because it's like, yo, I'm in the store. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to be time, uh, you know, sensitive here. Yeah. I'll just be like, yo. And like, there's been times, be like, yo, I'm just going to ask somebody. And he's been like, no. Really? Yeah. We were in Home Depot. We were looking for fucking light bulbs for your old apartment. The I don't remember the string lights. Yeah. And I was like, I'm just going to ask somebody. He's like, no, nah, don't, don't worry about it. And I was like, yeah, well, what do you mean? I don't know. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to ask the person. I, I will admit that about myself. I, yeah, def yeah. I definitely do. Yeah, that. Yeah. I think I've gotten better, though. It's like a directions thing. No, I think it's it's a, it's a I don't want to bother anyone thing. Yeah. It's not like I'm afraid to like. You've said that exact sentence to me. Like, I don't want to bother anybody. I'm like, yo, they work here. Yeah. They're supposed to help us. Right. So that's why I have no problem. I also think there's a fear of like asking like a stupid question of being like, excuse me, where are the light bulbs? And they go right fucking here. Yeah. And I go, oh, I mean, that's happened to God me all the time, damn. but I'll make fun of myself in that moment and be like, Jesus, sorry. Yeah. Like I'll apologize for like asking a stupid question. Yeah. No, but, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I, I definitely do that though. But you might, would you like honestly think, do you think eventually like, would you walk up to the counter and be like, listen, I, I've been here like my appointments like 30 minutes past. Yeah. But that also, I, it goes more into it. Like when we went to get that like thing put on my watch, right? 
Yeah. And they were like, yeah, you got to sit down for like 20 minutes. I was like, dude, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah. I was like, I'm not doing that but shit. But we're talking about majority of the time. Do you think majority of the time you just get up and leave? Or do you like go up and like check to see what's going on? Realistically, like if I go to my therapist, right? And like I'm supposed to have something at 2.30 and it goes to 3.15, I'll probably wait and complain. Well, this is 30 minutes. Yeah. I'll probably wait. I'll, I'll wait 30 minutes and complain. Yeah. See, I, I would wait there for... I would never get up and ask anyone anything. Yeah. See, I would just be like, yo, what's what's up? I Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I would just sit there, and then eventually I'd get to the point where I got so angry, and I'd be like, fuck this, and I'd leave. Yeah. And uh, I, but I wouldn't yeah. say anything to anybody. In my last few trips, I've talked to a nurse about, like, yo, like, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. So I, th- yeah. So I would say I get impatient and somewhat angry because I just, like, sit there, and I'm like, fuck, man. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, I don't know if I get angry. I get angry. Yeah, yeah. I legitimately I, I get, get angry. impatient, but I don't get angry because then, like, I think about it. I'm like, yo, he's probably, like, double booked. Like, this job's kind of See, tough. I don't do that. I immediately just, I, I turn into, like, oh, my God. Like, and I'm just, yeah. like, I'm a bitch. All right, number seven. How often are you late for appointments? Most of the time, sometimes, rarely, never. Um, I'm going to go rarely. <sighs> what is an appointment, though? Like, if it's a doctor's appointment, I'm not really late. But if it's worth <laughs> I was on time today. This kid's on time for yeah. I was on um, time today. Um, but in ge- I would say just in general. I'm just gonna say late? I'm gonna say most of the time. Most of the time you're a late guy. Most of the time I'm late. I, I would say I'm rarely late. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't really like being late. It freaks me out. When um, you are playing a game, how important is it for you to win? Extremely important. Yes, very important. It is so. I important. need to win. I can't even like in a game that I'm not good at. I need to win. Losing is shit. If I was playing. Tic tac toe, no, not tic tac toe, because that requires some skill. Let's just say me and a five year old were flipping a coin, heads yeah. or tails. It would start off funny, but if this kid started beating me like seven times in a row, I'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with this coin? Yeah, I want <laughs> to smoke. I want to smoke that fucking kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm the type of dude like I'll let kids score on me, but like I have to show them like I can dunk on that little ass hoop and just like fucking show dominance. Right. You know. Uh, how would your classmates and friends rate you? Always hardworking and serious, sometimes hardworking and serious, rarely hardworking and serious, or carefree? Carefree. You're carefree for sure. I think yeah. I'm sometimes hardworking and serious. I'm not always hardworking and serious. I yeah. Know. You're way more of a serious person. What? Than you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very serious. Um, yeah, you're you're carefree. Yeah. All right. <laughs> This is an exit interview, I guess, I th- at this point. <laughs> yeah, 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 you are. Yeah. No, I think that... Uh, but I work. What's that? I work. Yeah. I get my work done. It just be, should be more fish. Yeah, you treat you treat work like it's a fucking book report. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's 4 a.m. I better get this done before first period. Come on, cuz. Carefree, daddy. All right. Carefree. How would your parents or previous guardians... What was that about? I don't know. Rate you. Wait, is this for like orphans? What I was guess. that? I don't know. <laughs> How would your parents or previous guardians rate you? Oh, I guess. Okay. Rate me. Um, I would say mostly helpful. There are some times where I could be a spiteful fuck. <laughs> Always, mostly, sometimes, never. Um, How would my parents rate me? Always helpful, I think. I'd be lying if I said I was always helpful. I wouldn't you say that I'm always helpful. I would say I'm mostly helpful. What would my parents say? It's I would say only because of like the my recent history that they would say mostly. Yeah. But I think in in the grand scheme of things, it's it, been it was it was sometimes. Oh I really? Say, I would say sometimes, yeah, because I, I feel like when I was younger and the, like the dishes need to be done, it'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna go take a shit. Yeah, yeah. So that I could get out of it. So it'd be like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. or like I would, you know, complain yeah. about shit. But I don't know. I don't know. What should I put? I, I'm going with mostly because I'll go mostly because that's who I am today. And I'll do shit I don't want to do, but I'll do it because it's the right thing to do. So like I'll be like, yeah, you know, whatever. All right, there. Yeah, you, you know? sold me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're at the halfway point. Right? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're at the halfway point, so we're going to get to the ads real quick. Real quick with the ads, real quick with the ads. The sponsors of our show. We love the sponsors of our show because they make the world go round. They're so hot. Or something. And they're also so hot. They're just, All our sponsors are so hot. Yeah, speaking of getting hot, uh, when you get hot, you don't want to smell bad, so you want to use native, okay? 
Uh, native deodorant is formulated without aluminum, parabens, or talc. Okay, those last two things, I don't know what they are, but they shouldn't be in your deodorant. And you don't want them in your armpits because then it might go into your body Mm-mm. and cause some bad stuff. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's also vegan. And it's never tested on animals. We did a whole episode of how things shouldn't be tested on animals. So Native doesn't do that. And they're vegan. So technically you could eat it. Probably shouldn't do it. I'm not going to recommend that. But I'm just saying it's vegan. Um, But Native deodorant is made from ingredients you've heard of like coconut oil and shea butter. You wear deodorant every day. Yes. Um, So you should have organic and uh, what's the word? safe cruelty stuff. free and safe cruelty free that's a nice one too yes um they have over 10 cents coconut and vanilla that's the most popular one that's the one that i have in my bathroom it i use amazing the co- i use the coconut also i have a bar of soap for them that's uh lavender and rose it's it's gorgeous it's just gorgeous you smell like a million bucks i smell fantastic a million lavender bucks um but yeah, no, uh, free shipping on every order and native offers a 30-day free returns and exchanges in the usa uh check out they also have 9,000 five-star reviews from happy customers who made the switch to Native. That's a okay? lot. That's a lot. It's way more than Danny can count. Um, for, for, sure. for 20% off your first purchase, visit nativedeodorant.com and use the promo code BASEMENT20. Uh, again, that is 20% off your first purchase, and that is nativedeodorant.com, and the code is BASEMENT20. Okay, so definitely get on there. Get some safe, animal-test-free stuff. You know what I'm saying? Get you smelling good. Keeps you smelling good. And we're going to stay in the bathroom here with Quip. Okay, that Quip electric toothbrush. You guys have heard me talk about them numerous times. That's my shit. Okay? Got that Quip. Keeping these teeth bright. I love the and Quip. Then, and then we'll add a, a bling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't know if you know how to do that. Um, But anyway, the Quip electric toothbrush, uh, it's got sensitive sonic vibrations with a built-in timer and a 30-second pulse to guide a full and even clean. So it just like pulsates and then you go to the other side, clean that side, back and forth. You got a clean mouth, okay? Um, I love this toothbrush. It's the perfect size. It doesn't like make you bleed. It doesn't hurt your gums or anything like that either. Um, so, and it also delivers fresh brush brush heads, floss, and toothpaste refills to your door every three months with free shipping. So your routine is always right. That is the doctor recommended uh, time, timeline, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, go check out Quip. Uh, one of my favorite sponsors, love these people, uh, getquip.com slash basement right now. You'll get your first refill for free. Okay. That's your first refill, uh, for free at getquip.com slash basement, G E T Q U I P.com slash basement. Okay. So keep those teeth clean. Okay. Peeps clean them up, clean them up. Uh, next and lastly, we have Buffy. Okay. Buffy makes the most, the earth's most comfortable bedding. Oh, yeah. Not only that, but it's good for the environment. Oh yeah. Okay. We're, oh, yeah. we're about the environment. We're about not testing animals for stuff. And here we go. We got eucalyptus fiber, okay? Mm-hmm. I know that smells like it's... I know it sounds like it smells good, tastes good, and it's good for the earth, and that's because it's true. Feels real nice. I actually don't know if the bed has... A, is the bedding has a smell, but I know that the blanket is comfortable as shit. Yes, Okay. It is. Because I had the blanket on, and it, it regulates temperature so you don't sweat. And let me tell you, the boy sweats at night. Yeah, For me too. For whatever reason. I don't know why, but sometimes I do. I sweat it up. Um, but the eucalyptus fiber, it's more earth-friendly, and it uh, consumes 10 times less water to grow. Mm. So we're saving the earth here. Okay, their products have 17,000 five-star reviews and an overall rating of 4.5 stars. Okay, Yowie. so believe the hype. And Yowie. the blanket was so good that I actually went out of my way to buy the pillows. Didn't even use my code because I'm an idiot. Yeah, you All are. Right? You are. But they deserve the money. You should have used that code. I should have. What's the code? Uh, I'm going to tell you in a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Buffy offers a free trial of free shipping and free returns every day. Uh, you can try the new products in your own bed for free before you commit to buying. So when you check out, zero dollars and... Uh, you can return it if you don't love it, okay? So definitely go check out that. For $20 off your Buffy bedding, visit Buffy.co and enter the code BASEMENT. Uh, that is $20 off your Buffy bedding. Um, you can visit Buffy.co and enter the code BASEMENT, okay? Uh, and there you go, folks. Boom, bang, pow! Yeah! Let's Boom, get bang, back pow. to this test. Yeah, man. Find out if I'm A, if I'm B, if I'm whatever I am. All right. Uh how would your closest friends rate your general activity level? What does that mean? I don't know. Too slow, never gets anything done. Slow, but get gets things done. Average, reasonably reasonable busy, too active, should slow down. I would say at times you're too active, but you're mostly average. 
I would say average. And I would say I'm slow, but I get things done. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to, you're definitely slow, but get things done. I think I'm average. Yeah. I think people think like, I don't think anyone's been like, yo, Joe's been working too much. I don't think anyone has ever said that. Ever? <laughs> I said it H's <laughs> to I added H's to all the, I don't think, I don't Yeah, have. I think you're average. You're reasonably busy. Yeah. To to the naked eye, you might seem super busy because you're like, you're very businessy. <laughs> and you're CEO and you run a company. You, only you say that. That's the truth. No one thinks that. CEO Joe is a real person. I'm not making this up. People see it every day. I see it every day. I don't call him CEO Joe. I call him business meeting Joe. <sighs> that guy's an asshole. That guy's an asshole. Yeah. Yo, business meeting Joe had a meeting with me last week and it was tough. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It was like the nicest meeting. He does a thing uh, known as the compliment sandwich. Okay. <laughs> do not. So he'll do one good thing you do, mm-hmm. then just stack it with meat about a bunch of bad shit that you do, right? <laughs> and he'll get the lettuce and tomatoes, but then he'll close it with a little compliment bread, and then you have to eat that sandwich in front of him, <laughs> and you cry a little bit. And I was like, you know what? What? I said, you know what? I said, you know what? But the, this meeting went really, really well, but when Joe turns up the heat, that compliment sandwich is coming, and you're going to have to eat that shit. I don't compliment sandwich. You compliment sandwich. If I do, I don't do it on purpose because I think that would be stupid. Yeah, you accidentally sandwich. No, I just say for for realsies is what I mean. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm a very conf- uh, confrontable person, though. What? Like I'm Confrontational? I'm, no, 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 no. Oh, like, I like yeah. Y- you could easily confront me and we could have a conversation. Yeah. I've never, I'm not a combative person to be like, yeah, well, this is like this. Like, I take what you say. Like, I'm never like, yeah, no, nah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not like that. No, no, no. I'm very You're real- coachable. I'm coachable. I'm yeah. very realistic. Yeah. So, you know, like, that's one good attribute. That's not, not in the question, but I yeah. think I'm very, I'm very coachable. That's uh, type B. Yikes, this next question. How often do you worry about future events? Um, Constantly, frequently, sometimes, never. Mine is constantly. Mine's frequently. Um, What? Like all events? I, I would just say like the future in general. I would say frequently. Okay. Not constantly because I would fucking lose my mind. Yeah, I'm constant. Yeah. That's how I go to sleep. Yeah. Well, I can't well, go to no, sleep I until refl- I figure out tomorrow. I reflect at night. Yeah. But it's not like all through the day, I'm not like, I can't. I'll go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Yeah, people are fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, when yeah. you have free time, what would you prefer to do? Um, Watch TV. Sleep, watch TV, go shopping, catch up on work, or household chores. I'm going to say sleep. Mine's definitely not sleep. Uh, you know what? Go shopping. I'd be lying. Really? I love shopping, dude. I feel like you watch TV though a lot. Yeah, I have to watch. Like you're crushed YouTube. Also, that counts. Yeah, yeah. Watch TV over sleep. I don't sleep. Yeah, you don't. You're not like a napper. No, I don't sleep though. Yeah, you're you're a night owl. Yeah. So I think that that's where I feel the most free. Like I've like rarely have I ever texted you in the middle of the day and you've been like, oh, I just I took a nap. No, yeah, that no, doesn't really happen. No, no, no. And I, I can't take naps because I get fucking sleep paralysis. Only yeah, yeah. dude, literally, I'll, I'll take a nap and then that night I'm like, oh, I know it's coming, and then I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I can't fucking move. I used to enjoy napping a lot more. I used to love it, but now it's gotten to a point where it's like detrimental to me. I think it makes you more tired. Yo, I took a nap last night because. I was like, yo, I really want to watch this show, but I'm tired. Let me nap for 30 minutes, wake up and watch it. Right. When I tell you that I felt like fucking shit. Yeah. I felt like I played 11 games of basketball and then somebody threw me in a washing machine. (laughs) I felt terrible. Yeah, dude. I was like, this is bad. Yeah. Dude, I take a nap and it literally feels like my head got banged by ghosts. Yeah. I'm going to say watch TV. I don't know what I'm going to say. I I don't want to say catch up on work or household chores. Chores. Chols? Household chols. I. Household chol. Well, it says, what would you prefer to do? I would, I will say catch up on work or household chores because I would prefer to do that. And I think that sometimes I do do that. I don't, it's definitely not sleep and it's not really watch TV. Like I have been trying to finish Sopranos for how long and I can't. Um, And I don't go shopping. So I guess I'm going to put 
catch up on work. And I'm going to go watch TV. Yeah. For sure. Uh, looking back now, how would you rate your behavior as a child? I was a, prob- I was a problem child. I was difficult to discipline. I was an ordinary child. I was a little angel. I was a problem child. Um, you know what? I wasn't a problem child because I never really like hurt any. I was just a fucking asshole. So I would say I was difficult to discipline. I'm trying to see. I definitely wasn't a little angel. I think I was ordinary. Yeah. Like I did some shit, but I, for the most part, I was, you know what? I'm going to go ordinary because for the most part, I was very like, I was, I was a good kid. Like I wasn't a bad kid. Yeah. I wasn't a bad kid, but there I was, was bad shit. That I, was I, just did. A, I was just a fucking asshole. Yeah. Like yeah. sometimes, like I was never like mean to anybody. I could have, I could be mean to people. But my thing was, I, I didn't like, I had a real authority problem. I like, did like, too, Like a though. major one. Like to the point where like, I didn't care. Like, and I would like tell a teacher to like suck my dick. Like that's just a bad kid. Well, I didn't tell a teacher to suck my dick, but I did tell a teacher to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's preschool. That was sixth grade. That was preschool for me. But also, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I had a problem with that too. But I think for the most part, I was ordinary because... It wasn't like I refuse. Like my parents had a hard time. Like my parents, you know, they beat the shit out of me. But like, yeah, yeah, that's just like normal to yeah, me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we would just fuck around. Like me and Keith just make mad noise, and like we weren't in bed. Yeah, you knew like a clap was coming. Yeah, you know. Nah. Sometimes when I, listen, I was an ordinary kid. All right, I was just like everyone else. Yeah. I, I would wake up in the morning. I wouldn't get up in time. My mom would hit me with a hockey stick. You know what I mean? That's a real thing. Yeah, that's she, just she that's used, love. Though. She used to stick the hockey stick through the little things of a of a bunk bed because she she couldn't reach me. That's true. I was love, smart. Though. I used to lean against the wall because I'm too far for a little hand. Can't reach. Got a hockey stick and though. Fake it a little bit like it's hitting you. Yeah. Let yeah. me tell you this. None of us played hockey, so I don't know where she got that stick. She might have went to Home Depot. Home Depot. She might have went to Sports Authority. <laughs> bought that stick. Just to beat the shit out of she us. She made her own hockey stick. Yes. Yeah, she she went did. to Home Depot and got it made there. Yeah, exactly. And I guarantee you, she asked for help. She probably. <laughs> yeah. Um. You have a large amount of homework to do, but your closest friends are having a party. What do you do? Join the party, do some homework, and then join the party, or finish all of your homework and miss the party? I'm going to say... I'll be honest, I'm joining the party. 100%. Yeah, and and maybe that goes against some other things that I said, but one thing I will say that has been consistent with me my entire life is that when fun shit is going on, I'm like... Let's put an end to this. FOMO could be a bitch. Crazy. Yeah. Like, you remember last year, we had work to do, but I was figuring, like, it was just a nice day out. Like, it was the first nice day we had in a while, and I was just, like, figuring out a way to be able to get both done without whatever. So I was like, let's just go to the park and play catch. Yeah. So we went to the to Models. We bought baseball gloves, and we went to the park when we, when we played catch. And then, because we moved some things around so we could get the work done, like, on time, like, whatever. So I think I'm going to join the party, and I would have gotten home and, like, figured out a way to get my homework done. Yeah, yeah, Like, the next morning in school, I would have, like, an hour before I started doing it. Yeah. Or some shit. Or just not do it. Yeah. Fucking shit. Yeah. Uh, Next one. Um, Do you keep a daily schedule or a calendar of your plans? I would say sometimes. I'm I'm doing it now because I have to do more shit here. Yeah. So now it's like I'm implementing that. But back in the day, I'd just be like, no. This isn't a thing. Yeah. I'm trying to very disorganized person. I want to say yes. Do I keep a daily schedule? Yes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) For sure. Yeah, maybe. 100%. If you click anything other than that, you're lying. Yeah. I write a lot of stuff down too. Yeah, yeah. Like I like if I have a bunch of stuff to do, I'll just start writing it on the board. Yeah, and it's also like your calendar never stops. You're always putting shit in it. It's like I like having stuff in the calendar. I know, I know. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's like We'll, I'll, like, we'll be looking at tasks for the day, and I'm like, all right, cool. Like, we're killing it. I'll look away, and then there'll be, like, four more. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> I was like, they're coming. They're coming through the back door. They're coming! <laughs> Send that children! Send that children! Oh, you fuck. motherfucker. Um, when you are in a group situation, like completing a group project, how do you usually act? I rarely participate. I act as a team player, or I take charge. <sighs> Sometimes I take charge, but I'm more of a team player. Yeah, I definitely don't rarely participate. No, I, I'm going to participate. Yeah, me too. Hmm. I have intangibles. 
you know, that I could bring. I could pull it, put us over the edge. You know, so what like, I mean? I'll, I'll, pre- I'll, uh, I'll present the thing. I'll present it. I'll be funny. Get a little ha has and he he's. Yeah. You know, you guys give me the material. Give you write it for me. Write for me, and I'll take care of yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm a team player. Do I take charge? I'm a pass no. first kind of guy. No, I mean, you take charge. When it comes to well, now I take charge, but I feel like when it comes to a group thing. Like when you play games, board games, do you take charge if you're on the team? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you take charge. Charging bitch. I don't like that. Chargy slut. I'm a charge guy. All right. How far in advance would you study for a major test? Oh, man. A, a day or two beforehand. Yeah. A day or two beforehand. Yeah. I, Absolutely. I'm not. I'm really bad. I, I, I honestly usually don't study. I'm going to put that. I don't study. I didn't study ever. No. I I like and I I would pay attention but not really in class. I just if I'm being completely honest with myself, school was never really that hard for me. For whatever reason, I was yeah. able to bullshit my way through, which was a horrible way to whatever. I was good enough to get to not apply myself and get good grades. Keep your parents but off I, your ass. But I have no idea what I learned. Yeah. And like, that's the wrong way to do school. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Pay attention in school, kids. Yeah, like, but I, I was like, because I, I have like a photographic memory, so I was able to just like I remember in high school, I would look at a page for like a vocab test, like five minutes before a test, and just stare at it, and then just close it, and then be able to get like that's, a ninety-five. That's like beneficial though, because it's like yeah, but I don't know what I read. I just know right. what the word is. You know I, have, I, mean? I have a real problem retaining uh, shit like that. Like I have to like if I did it months before, maybe I would be able to do it. Yeah, I've never made index cards. No, I, I have that. a real problem retaining knowledge. I just don't care. You know what it was? I just didn't really care. Also, I'm an auditory person. Talk to me. Yeah, I need to hear it and like use in a sentence and like an example. That'll be like trigger and buzzwords for me. You know what it is too. I can't I, read, dude. If I read, to- yo, I'll read a whole paragraph and not remember one fucking thing. <laughs> I've done that sometimes. And yeah. it's like, yeah. It's- I'm like, dude, I don't know what that page was. If I'm being honest, like, dude, I also cheated on the SATs. Yeah, whatever. I like. I never part, even took them. The part, the parts where you had to read. Yeah. I found a girl because they sit. They have di- everyone has different tests, but some people do. But they, you have to like find them. Mm. You know, and I noticed that this girl had my test. Yeah. Because we had the same whatever. Because I was dying for a lifeline, and. It was a part where you had to read, and I was like, I'm not fucking reading this, because I just didn't... I hated reading growing up. I would lie on all of my... I forged my signature, my mother's signature, on every single one of my reading logs. You ever had one of those? Yeah. We had reading logs you had to read for 30 minutes a night, and your mom would sign it. I signed everything for my parents for the entire year so that I could forge just that. Yeah. And I got away with it, Mm. so... Because my mom's signature is ridiculous. Yeah, it is. I've she's, seen it. She's like an elf. Yeah, it's, like, she, it's fantastic. It's amazing. Yeah. That's probably um, where you get your hand for, writing from. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm going to say I don't study at all. I'm going to say a day or two beforehand just because I was like, I need to know something. I can't get a 50, but I would still get like a 50. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Studying a day before, you get that one question on a test. You're like, yes, I know that. And then yeah. you go, well, we're back to not knowing anything. 100%. You know, <laughs> that's what it is. Um, what is an ordinary day in your life like? Full, right now? Full of problems, full of fun, a mixture of problems and fun. There are never enough things to keep me busy. What is an ordinary? That, what kind of question is that? I mean, I work here. That's full of fun, but I got some problems. <laughs> I got some problems. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What is an ordinary day in your life like? Full of problems, full of fun, a mixture of fun and problems. There are never enough things to keep me busy. I would say a mixture of fun and problems. Do I have like problems? I think it's a, I think it's full a mixture. of problems is a ridiculous statement. Who's saying that? Oh, anybody who will listen. <laughs> no, but I'm saying one like, of my favorite sentences to say is, "I got enough problems." I say that shit all the time. I never say that. They just be like, yeah, like, you need this? I'd be like, oh, I'm good, man. I got enough problems. I think everyone's life is full of problems and fun. I yeah. But I, I feel like... I think it's a mixture of problems and fun. That's what life is. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's just... I'd be extremely dramatic to say that my life is full of problems. Right. There's a lot of people way worse off than me. Right. But I got some. 
We all know. We all We know. all got some a little bit. Well, we're at the last question here. Yeah. All right. How many days per week do you engage in physical exercise? I'm up now. I'm up. Let's get it. I'm up. Let's get it. I'm going to the gym right after this. Nice. Well, actually, physical therapy. Yeah. But it's, an, it's a workout. Okay. Yeah. Um, four more, two or three, one, or I don't exercise. Well, I would say to be safe, if I'm averaging it out, it's two or three right now. I mean, I'm going to go four mo. Yeah. Um, and now we calculate. Yeah. I'm, check your score. Boom. What'd say you yours first. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you get? Wait, what is the, what's the scale again? It's ranges of 35 to 380. 35 to 380. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what's type A, uh, B? High, type A? high scores are type A. High scores are type A. Yeah. And low scores are type B. Yeah. What'd you get? 192. Oh, you're B, baby. Oh, wait, no. That's technically A, right? I think it's technically A. So you flirt. I flirt. I got 250. Whoa! I knew it, <laughs> dude. You fucking maniac. God damn it. I told you you're type A. I'm so A. You're you're huge A person. Huge uh, A. I got a huge A? You have a huge A and you're a huge A. Whoa. Wait, you said I'm a huge A. No, no, no. I said you have a huge A and you're a huge A. You think I got a huge A? Yeah. Damn. I'm telling you, dude. You have an A fucking... Can, we, can you list... So some people that don't know what uh, a type A and a type B personality is. Maybe some people don't know. Okay. Type A personality. Let's see what it is okay well type a oh wait what is this i just need i just need fucking wait i don't know oh i see this is interesting so type a is like competitive time urgent hostile and aggressive <laughs> yeah type b is relaxed patient and like easy going yeah and then um this is actually a good representation of that. Uh, type A personality, type B. It's a picture of a mountain. And the type A person is going to the top of the mountain. And they're saying, because it's there, I'm going to go. Yeah. And the type B is laying down at the bottom of the mountain and basically looking at it like, because it's there. Like, it's all the way there. That's why. You know? So you yeah, yeah, but it makes us look like shit. No, I think that just, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this makes type B's look so bad. Type A personality traits. I just spelled traits, triads. Triads. Um, not good spellers. Yeah, no, not, that's not happening at all. Why no, can't I just I get knew a you were, fucking... I knew you were going to be high. 250 is high, dude. Yeah, I didn't think high, I was, bro. I, I hit that button, I was like, Yeesh. Yeah, 192. What it means to have type A personalities. Type A personality. Um, I wonder if our audience is more type B or type A. I don't know. Impatient, work obsessed. Yes, yes. Stressed, yes. aggressive, nah. achievement oriented. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, wait. <laughs> okay. Type A. Type A me. Wait, what is it? Friedman Associated Physical Characters is often a company. T-A-B-P. What's T-A-B-P? No fucking idea. Type A. Personality disorder? I don't know. <laughs> oh, traits of type A behavior. God. Wait, I don't even know. Facial tension, tight lips, clenched jaw, tongue clicking or teeth grinding, dark circles under eyes, facial sweating. What the fuck? Who, what is this? Sounds like me after a fucking Snickers bar. Yeah. <laughs> I've been up all night eating Snickers. I ate three donuts yesterday. Negative effects of type A behavior. Hypertension. Yeah. Which I don't have, I don't think. You don't know. Heart disease. Yikes. Job stress. Not really. Mm. Social isolation. Definitely not. No. Um. All right. Wait, where's type B? Type B. Let's go. Fucking. Personality traits. Diagnose me. Diagnose. Was that a fart? No. It was my foot. Oh, my God, dude. I thought you farted, and it sounded like a jet ski drove through here. <laughs> I was like, dude, flexibility. You flexible? Yes. Throw that leg over your head then. Low stress levels. Dude, whoa. 
Yeah, dude. I'm flexible, dude. That was fucking hot. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, bro. Um, relaxed attitude. Yes. Adaptability to change. Yes. Even tempered. Yeah. No. You think I have a temper? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, laid back. Yes. yes. Tendency to procrastinate. Whoa. <laughs> looky, looky. Double yes. Uh, patience. Yes. Uh, what else we got? Mm. Creativity. Yes. Nice. Thank God, something nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a type B, it is important to learn to stand up for yourself in situations where other people are trying to take advantage of your accommodating nature. Am I dominating you? No. no. You gotta stand up for yourself. I do stand up for myself. You know you I do. do. I know. Very much so. I'm not a fucking bitch. Uh, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Do it now. Uh, stress, ready. Stress management skills. One major advantage of this personality type is the ability to cope well with stress, 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 and pressure. Even when faced with a great deal of stress, Type Bs are usually able to maintain a level-headed, optimistic outlook. Yeah. Okay. I think I think that's me. I mean, been through a lot to get there, but I think it's me. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Yeah, School and, and work can impose deadlines, so finding a way to manage your time and get things done when they need to be done can ensure an ac academic and professional success. That's, that's yes, I need that. Yeah. For sure. For sure. And then it's so living with type B personality, they, oh, start giving, they start giving you stuff. They say, use your time well, take a relaxed attitude towards life, can be useful for managing stress most of the time, except when you start letting things go to the point where you feel like you're always scrambling to catch up. Mm. Don't put things off. Mm. Okay, let others see your strengths. Wow. Set goals. Okay. Dude, being type B sucks dick. You just <laughs> we fucking suck, bro. No, it's just, just you know you just wait. Well, I was majority type A though, but I'm a straddler. Yeah, you're. Yeah, it says you're more type A. Yeah, type yeah, a. yeah. But you know, you're not. You didn't. You didn't score a forty. Yeah, that's true. Well, you just don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give you some know? shits. Dude, I'm way too high on that fucking. Yeah, scale. it's a little scary. Two fifty? I thought I was gonna be like two. Do you think you were always like that? Like you grew up that way, or no, do you think you I adopted very that? If I'm being completely honest, like when I, I've always said, like. Keith has like a crazy work ethic. Yeah. Right. And he'll, he's one of the people that like, he will just work at it for hours. Right. And for, for most of my life, a lot of things came easy mm. and that's not me being an asshole. That's, that's just yeah, things what come, it is. Things come easier to others. So it's, when, just, it's part of life. When, yeah. I, when I was a kid, I was like, I was good at sports. Mm -hmm. Right. And I didn't really practice that much. Like right. I wasn't taking a thousand jump shots. Like I was just naturally athletic yeah. and I was naturally like good at school and I didn't really try. Mm. So that all seems like a good thing. But also what happens during that time is that you develop zero work ethic. Yeah, whatsoever. You become accustomed to just being able to do everything. Right. So when that, yeah. when something hits you that it's like, Oh, you're, you can't just like, this isn't going to be a layup. It's like, are you, are you going to work hard at it? Or are you going to like whatever? So I had none of that. Yeah. And Keith was the opposite, right? Keith was good at sports too, but school was harder for Keith. Right. So he had to like, like he was studying like hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He drilled and, himself. Yeah, yeah. And I never did that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, for, I, it was just, it was just good for me to at least see that, to have someone like Keith. And my oldest brother, Thomas too, is like, my oldest brother Thomas actually has like both of those kind of qualities. Like he's good at, uh, he's like he has work ethic. Yeah, and he's naturally good at things. And then me and Keith are polar opposites, and we're like I became naturally good at things with zero work ethic, and then Keith wasn't naturally good at things and had a, like a crazy work ethic. So I always said like I would I would if I had Keith's work ethic, then it would be like, you know. But that's like in school, like when you think like people are like, yeah, I'm smart, but like I fucking work hard. Yeah. So it's like it's it's. Those people, it's like, yeah, I could probably get 80s, but, like, I'm trying to get 94s. Like, those people work fucking hard. Yeah, or people would get, like, 92 and be upset. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Or like, like I never cared credit. about my grades of how high they were as long as I passed because I was like, I just don't want to go to summer school. Yeah, yeah. That I was mean, the only thing I cared ugh, about. Summer school sucks, Like, man. no part of me took pride in, in school at all. No. Which was horrible. I took zero pride in school. I didn't care. The only reason I passed classes was because they'd kick my ass off the team. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, dude, I want to play. So, like, I'll fucking do work, I guess. My thing was, like, I just don't want to go to summer school. Like, I just want to be able to, like, chill in the summer. Yeah. So yeah. I, that's that's my literally my only priority was to pass because of that. But I didn't care, like, if I got 
like I didn't try to get like a 95 in every class. Like I just didn't care. Or yeah. if, even to the point where like if I was doing really well in a class, I'm like, well, I could fuck this test up. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. In college, actually, the first ep- uh, the first semester, I had like a three five or something, and and my health class, the guy told me that my, if I took the final, right, he's like some people can opt out of the final if right. they don't want to do it. He's like it'll lower your grade, but not enough to like be a, like a crazy whatever. Like you'll you, get your credit. You'll yeah. go from like an A to an A minus, and like I didn't give a shit, so I was like, I'm not fucking taking it. Yeah, so because like, I wouldn't have taken that shit too. Yeah, I was just like chill. But some people are like, no, I'm taking that. Like I'm getting my A. Yeah, to like you know whatever. So I was just like, I just don't. Yeah, I literally when I was in college, I had like four classes. Yeah, no, five classes. I took five classes the first semester. There was two that I just didn't go to. Yeah, dude. I was like, I'm gonna pass these three. I like these three classes. Not going these other two though. Dude, I I paid and signed up for a full semester of classes and never went to one. Yeah, that's crazy. Never went to one. Yeah. What is wrong with yeah, me? It was terrible. It was terrible. Dude, I, I was. Good I, thing is, I didn't buy textbooks though. No, 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 no. Those no. things are expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Textbooks were terrible. It's like buying designer bags. And then you go to sell them back. It's like seven dollars. Yeah, it's like I bought this textbook for three hundred and fifty. Why are you giving me eight cents? A book should not cost that much. That's such a fucking. It's a racket. Oh, it's gosh. a racket. Racket. Huge. You're, one. you're robbing us. Huge racky. Not uh, not only that, but huge you're... rack. Big old tits. <laughs> Big old rack on them. <laughs> oh man, um, but yeah, I think that I eventually to. Uh, worked my way into type a you know because i have because like i said keith and 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 thomas are type uh they are they have a work ethic and i was jealous of that because they are like so you're saying a a you were a b i was very much so a b yes okay just because i've been a b my whole life just a fucking huge b (laughs) both b (laughs) but uh but yeah i think i i worked my way into that because i i wanted really badly to do that i also think that i still want to be I enjoy putting things in my calendar because I like being busy. Yeah. Like, when I go to... Self-fulfillment. If I go to meetings and stuff and I see these people's calendars, I'm like, oh, God, I want that. Like, yeah. I want to be like, yeah, I got to, like, I have a hard out at three because yeah. I got a meeting. Like, you're, I like that. You're rocking back and forth like a giddy little girl <laughs> about this calendar. I look at calendars and I'm like, I hate this thing. Yeah. I hate it. But I'm, I have to, I have to learn. Have if to I'm learn. being honest, though, it was because I was like, now that I'm like diagnosing myself, right? Right. The I don't know if I ever told you the story, but it was like, I'm you know how like I'm v- I'm very confident in myself and like everything that I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, you're cocky as shit. Yeah. <laughs> there was a day that I was like, oh fuck, like I fucked up. You just pulled this out. What are you doing? Stop fidgeting. Oh, you it's, no, it's stuck on my foot. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. Um, no, but there there was a time like in college, um. Well, I had dropped out of college. Mm-hmm. And, like, at this point, I didn't even tell my parents. Like, they think I'm going. I'm not going. Yeah, those were the best days. Yeah. <laughs> Get the car. Go there. Don't even go there. Go to Wendy's. I would just sit in my car. I wouldn't even yeah. like, do anything. I'd have money. So I couldn't buy anything anyway. <laughs> but uh, I, um, I uh, like I said, up until that point, like, everything had become very easy to me. And I was like, yeah, I'll get to it. Or whatever. Like, the idea in my head of being like, yeah, I can do it. I can do it. But at that point I had accomplished nothing, Mm. you know? So there's like no reason for me to believe that. I just like did believe it. Mm. But then I was really scared because I, it just like hit me one day when I stopped going to school of being like, Oh my God, like I'm going to be a fucking loser, dude. Yeah, man. That happened. That happened to me, man. Cause all my friends went to college and they're all like at least like trying to do that. And even if they were away at college, like fucking up their GPAs because they were like drinking every day, it was just like at least they're, they're there. there. And they're like they look like the part. Like I, everyone, you go to a family party and people are like, "What are you doing in your life?" And you're like, I, "I'm trying to figure it out." I feel like college is like the gym, but it's opposite. It's like here's why: because like people are like half of the battle is just getting to the gym. Yeah. But like half of the battle isn't just going to college. You have to do all that work. Yeah. Because they will kick your ass out of there. Right. You know what I mean? It's it's like it's not one of those things where you could go away to school and like just do that. Right. So like that's a thing. Like I would have definitely been sent home from school. One hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, I, I like I would have figured it out and I would have got it done. But I was just like I was I was afraid because I was like, oh my God, like what if I'm wrong? Because like I, I stopped going to college just because of this feeling inside of me of being like, This isn't this isn't for me. 
and I wasn't like a lazy kid. I like got all my work done and shit, but like I just for whatever reason felt like not doing it. And then I remember being in my, this is so dramatic, but I was in my front yard and I was like looking up at the stars. Gosh, it's so gay. And thinking about <laughs> Oh, oh man. man, it's a joke. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I was looking up at the stars, and then I started to like cry because I was like, "Oh my god, dude, I fucked up!" Like I, like I, and that's when it, it hit me that like, "Oh, dude, you like everything just came so easy to you your whole life, and you haven't worked for shit." And like, yeah. there's no, and like at that moment, I realized like, "Oh, dude, you're either gonna have to make some major changes, or you're just gonna be a fucking loser." Yeah, man, that epiphany is really tough. I had that one too. Like, it, it's 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 really hard. When you have that moment with yourself, you're just like, dude, I'm a fucking loser. Yeah. And it really, and, and, and that was it's, the thing. It's rough. The it's worst really part, hard. The worst part too is when everyone has like high hopes for you. That's the, you know? wh- that's the worst thing is because people, you see people start to look at you different like, oh, you know, you always, I always thought you'd be doing something else. Like you're doing that or like this. And then it never really hit until it hits you staring yeah. up at the stars crying a little bit yeah you know what i'm saying i've had many of nights like that <laughs> yeah and it's like dude you're a fucking loser yeah it, it 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 made it worse it made it almost worse because i was like everyone probably looked at me and was just like oh this kid's always been a good student and he you know was good at sports and he was blah 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 and then it was like yeah now you dropped out of college you're a college dropout and and by the way this was before this whole wave of like entrepreneurial spirit where you know you can create an app and like whatever like we're talking back in like 2010 where yeah, you couldn't do that shit. instagram wasn't a thing yeah. twitter w- wasn't really a thing like there was no social media right. none of that so it wasn't like you could do stuff like that and i just like dropped out on a whim because i didn't know you know it was just weird but <sighs> I, made the right choice. I remember just feeling like oh shit i'm wrong and like I'm gonna have to make changes. So I, I and I I did nothing for a year. By the way, I worked at a pizzeria and then I and then a, a guy on a motorcycle hit me, <laughs> and sued me. So I, I got fired. Um, I so I that. just didn't have a job for a year. Yeah, and man. then like my mom was just like, "What do you do?" Like, and I didn't even. It took me a year. But yeah, but that's listen that. And that, I think that uh, sorry, but like yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's why I'm Type A now. Cause I'm so scared of going back to being that dude. And you think about it though. It's like that shit that you went through. It's like, ah man, like I was a loser at that time. Probably the most important year in your entire life. Oh yeah. Hands down. The most important. I, I don't did I, I told you how, what I did. Yeah. Should I, have I said that on here? Um, I don't know if you have. So yeah. Cause that, like you said, it's like the most important year of your life, Yeah, which is, insanely true because i think about it like constantly and there are times where i fall in and out of like productiveness or whatever the fuck uh and i get i start thinking back to when i was like 18 19 years old when i started doing all this shit and being like how bad i wanted it and i would stay up until 4 a.m like filming videos and like whatever and then i'm like and then there's times where you fall out of it and you're like what the fuck happened to me man like i was like when i was 18 it had nothing like i was working way harder than i have now like what are you what are you doing yeah and I still to this day drive back to the spot in my uh, where I went to college because it's like 20 minutes from here. So I, I'll still drive back and park in that spot and just kind of like just be in that moment still of being like, you remember when you made the decision to be like, fucking, I'm done. And then you, you know, whatever. So I, think, I still drive back there. I think that's healthy behavior, though. Like sometimes you need to do shit like that. Yeah, I feel like I was meditating without really meditating. I also drive to the piers yeah. in Long Island City and just be like, whatever. I also think you had a moment in your life where self-reflection wasn't as high of a priority on your list. Like, it was kind of like you were just, like, on autopilot, maybe. Just yeah. like you were just so used to doing stuff. And, like like you said, being succe- like having it be successful, you know what I mean? It's like you're kind of one of those guys that could spin shit into gold. So it's like you're doing it. It's working. Money's coming in. But then you stop and realize it's like, eh, maybe I'm not like really happy though. Or like, maybe it's just like, I'm losing sight of why I'm doing this. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, it's good to go back to those spots and fucking recenter yourself and reset. Yeah. I mean, that was what it was. It was like, it, yeah. it was the autopilot because I was, I moved into that big ass apartment in Long Island city and I was getting, I was paying out the ass for it, but I was making like a lot of money too. So I was, yeah. and I was 
how old was I fucking that was like two years ago, right? Twenty twenty five years yeah, old. 25, yeah, twenty five years old, twenty four, twenty five, and I was making a ton of money and, and, and I lived in this apartment and I was just and then I was just like, well, why does this not feel good at all? Like yeah. what am I doing? Yeah. And it was because I wasn't really doing anything. Right. This was just another thing that ended up like things were falling into my lap and I was just getting lucky. Right. And now for the first time, like ever since I moved here, everything that I've done in this apartment, I feel like I've earned. Like yeah. everything, like whatever, sure. but everything else I feel like fell on my lap. I, that's how I feel. Yeah. The elite daily fell into my lap. The fact that I got that job and then I was able to like work along the way and like learn my way. And I ended up quitting that job and like pursuing, but I didn't really put the work in at all. And it ended up working out for me because like a video went viral and then everything started. It was just like this whole thing. That, yeah. And like, yeah, some people would be like, well, that's not lucky. I mean, it is like going viral is lucky. I wasn't purposefully making content to go viral. I was just doing what I was doing. Yeah, but we talk about being prepared for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was prepared, you know? but like um, a lot of it, whatever. But now it's like a very structured type A. Well, yeah, yeah. Because if you if you think about it, there's there's people out there who like, I compare them to like these golden apple trees, okay? So it's these golden apple trees, right? Okay. You're this golden apple tree with all these golden apples. You're already set to go. But some people like to sit under it, get shade, see if something falls down. You know, like you said, things would fall into your lap. Right. Sooner or later, though, those apples are going to run out. You Somebody has to do something about this tree. Sooner or later, you got to cut that motherfucker down. So I think in, for you, it was like, I'm okay. you, you got content with just being like, yeah, I'm going to chill under this tree for a little bit. I'll take whatever comes to me for a little bit. I got it yeah. already. But then at some point, you're like, nah, I need more of this. I need I need to fucking take action here. I just wanted to like respect myself because I started to feel like I I like I didn't really like what was happening, especially because like I, I was making a lot of money, but I feel like I wasn't doing enough and I wasn't earning it. So I felt right. so I, and even when people would be like it would you have no idea of what it did to me when people would tell me of what a good job I was doing or like you're like it's amazing what you've accomplished or whatever yeah. and I, that would kill me because i was realistic with myself and on the inside i'm like yo i this fell into my fucking lap right like i didn't earn this at all and like i know it looks like it that happened but that's really how i felt like it was like a really fucked up thing yeah. for like a couple of years well, well it throws back to the point where you felt like you were a loser it's just a different type of feeling right and now it's yeah. just like now but you know at a certain point i feel like people like you get successful and it's like you can feel like you earned it and if and it feels good like now it feels great like because right. every dollar i we, we make now i feel like like i'm i'm earning my my money now like yeah. you know but i feel like back then it was just i was making a video a week and it just so happened that the the business things that i did it just I was, it was just going you and, know and even then it's like you're making money off your likeness kind of and like your image or whatever but like yeah. now, now it's like you're making money off of your fucking blood sweat and tears now Right, I took so, an interest in being like a businessman and understanding right, like right. everything. So the 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 grind it means more. It's more. Be yeah. it means more to you as a person. That's really what yeah. It is. Because it's more fulfilling now. Because right. now when I if I for achieve sure. certain things, yeah. it feels better. Because it's like, oh man, we worked for this. We we earned this shit. And it wasn't just because like you made a video on YouTube and it right. was like whatever. Like no man, I built a business and like things are happening yeah. because of that. Like I can recognize that. But back in the day, it was just kind of like things would be happening for me, and I'd be like, dude, this is just like it just makes me feel like shit. Yeah, it just makes yeah. me feel terrible. But the whole point of me bringing that up is not is not just to like list off these fucking acolytes or whatever, but also just because when I tell you and people like are not gonna believe me because they think I'm just trying to be fake inspirational. But when I tell you the I'm like I was the most type B person in the world like i never worked for anything i never studied i never whatever and it ended up working out for me better than it works out for most people just because i was naturally given certain things that yeah. a lot of people aren't so it's that golden tree so the my point is it's never too late to just be like i'm gonna be type a yeah you know like you have to make the conscious decision of being like i'm just done you know, like you said, like I told you, like I would take these drives and really think about everything and like be realistic with myself and be like, you're a fucking loser. Dude. I don't care how much money you have or how successful people think you are. You're a fucking loser. Yeah. And like I, I can I, and I'm I pride myself on that only of being realistic with myself. And like that's what drives everything else. But if you're realistic with yourself and you feel like, yo, you are a fucking loser, dude, you have to do that sometimes. Yeah, you have to like, you know, and, and it's the hardest thing to do, I think, in life is be truthful with yourself. It's very difficult yeah. to be able to look yourself in the face and be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Right. You're fucking up here. 
Yeah. And I and I've fucking have have had to have that conversation with myself way more times than I would want to. Yeah. But you know, it's one of those situations where if you're not doing that, you're not in tune with yourself. Yeah. And it's okay to feel like that because most of the time that should lead to something positive. It's what you do after that ep- epiphany, I guess. Yeah. You know, it's it's more about how you proceed from there because it's a slippery slope. There's a lot of people that get to that point in their lives and they just keep going down. Yeah. Like I, it wasn't, it wasn't um, like, I'm not being self deprecating. Like I'm just being no, realistic. No, you know what I mean? Not, like, yeah, I'm not saying that to paint like this picture and create this like path. No, Cause no. I didn't pull my, like it wasn't this crazy thing. And loser is a lack of a better word here. It's yeah. Just, it's just not, you're not doing, you're not doing what you can to feel better about your life. What it was is I had a way bigger expectation and I knew I had potential and I'm like, you're wasting it. Yeah. So I was like, you're a fucking loser. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So, but I, like I said, I think that anyone can kind of make the switch if they're able to recognize it yeah. and be like, yo, I can, I can like do this. And I, I tend to feel like once you do s- switch that, that switch and you accomplish something, it just becomes very addictive. Yeah. And I can't even imagine going back to what I was when I was younger. Yeah. You know, because it's like, I just, but as long as you stay in tune with yourself and maybe have that conversation yeah. Before before it gets to the point where you feel like a loser or something, it's going to help you a long way. Trust me. Yeah. And surrounding yourself with people that make you want more as well. Come on, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's very important. That is, is very dude. important. Yeah. And people always say it's the company you keep around you is so important. Yeah. People don't stress that enough. Like it's a cliche saying, but like, yo, you got to get people out of your life that are just shit. Or you have, you have to, you have to. The thing too is like, you or can, do you just keep them away? Yeah. You can have friends that aren't necessarily like good for your like mentality or business or whatever. And they're just like your fun friends. That's fine. But the importance you need to put on surrounding yourself with people who are more successful than you and who are like, good workers and like these people like is so important and like i'll tell you this right now i went to a dinner with somebody who's a very successful dude and uh i went to dinner with him and we were just talking about like back and forth we don't do the same thing like he's in a different business than i am but we had this whole talk about you know uh his business and then my business and then we were going back and forth with these things with ideas and i left that dinner and some of the things we talked about in that dinner are like in practice now. Like some of the things that you see came from that dinner. Yeah. And it was because that it was because I met with another guy who whose opinion I respect and listened to him because I'm open to advice. I still think that I'm like right when it comes to everything, but I'm, I'm but that's yeah. only because I'm willing to listen to other people. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when I was like, you know what, that's a good point. Like you got to put your pride aside at a certain point and be like, I'm doing 100%. this wrong. 100%. And like, even though you don't know about my business, the fact that you're successful is not an accident. Yeah. So you have something to offer me. And I, I had to put pride aside and be like, I've been doing this for fucking close to a decade now. And I, I'm doing this part wrong. Right. And I had to completely change that. And it's been insanely helpful. So just surrounding thing, yourself with things. those people. Yeah. And then the next day I hit him up. And I was like, we have to do this every month. Right. Like we have to meet every single month. Like even if we don't talk about anything, yeah. like we just need to be, you need to be around people that are that like. That person needs to be there. I never feel comfortable if I'm the smartest person in a room or yeah. most successful person in a room because I'm not going anywhere. And it's weird to say it like this, and it's weird to say it like this, but it's just for lack of better words. Like, if you can't do anything for me, like, on a a business level, on a personal level, on a psychological level, I can't can't have you in my life. Because it's just detrimental to me. Yeah. It's like, there's so much loose change when it comes to people. It's like, what am I doing? What does this relationship actually mean to me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and it's not like, listen, I have a, plenty of friends who I love to death, but I'm never going to go to them for business advice. Right. Or I'm never going to go to them for work advice. I still love you when I see you. I have no problem saying, hey, man, how you doing? I hope everything's all right with you and your family. But there's a certain, there's a certain line where it's like, this person is not going to help me get to where I need to get. Right. And it's, it, and it's just the truth. It's just the truth. And... I feel like if I don't surround myself with a circle of people that are like, listen, you should do this this way, or you got to watch how you're doing this, or you're doing this. 
those are the more people I'm, I, like you said, respecting of opinions. That's what I need. That's mm -hmm. what I've tried to get more in my life. I completely switched my entire life around just by people that I surround myself with. And it's a huge fucking deal. Yeah. It's a big deal. And if no one's going to push you either, like if you get to a certain level of success and you are the most successful in your friend group, no one really has any... Uh, so they can't say shit to you. Well, not not that. I was gonna say no one has incentive to motivate you or to drive you right. or to like whatever. Because it's like, what am I gonna tell you? Like, uh, you're more successful than right. that, you know. And uh, that's not good because then you get complacent. Because of course. if you're like, oh, I did it. Yeah. Then it's like, but you haven't. But it's like even like I just want, like I see people and I'm like, how do I get there? Yeah. You know, that's just a great question to ask yourself every day. Like, how do I get there? That's how plans start and things yeah. and things get into motion. I'm like indifferent about that because like sometimes that gets me into trouble. Yeah, but it, but it's it's at least you go through the process though. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, I can't, I don't really see a world where I like retire. No, I I, I, I can't, I don't, I, I can't imagine that. Maybe one day that will change though because I do think now that I'm even like saying it out loud, I feel like I'm I'm type A for now, and I am obsessed with consuming like knowledge and trying to learn a, a bunch of different things. Yeah. But I think eventually that's going to like turn to type B and I'll be like, you know what? We'll this, is, this is going to come secondary to like, I would yeah. like to build a company up to a certain point where I can hand the keys over to someone else who's like, who enjoys it more than me. Yeah. And just be like, I'll still be here. Oversee it. And I'll still whatever. And, Get a fucking check. But at the same time, it's like, oh, it's my kid's birthday. Like, dude, I'm not, I don't give a fuck who, if the president's coming in. I'm not coming. Yeah, fuck you. You know, like, I'm I would good. love to get to that point. Super gooch. Yeah. So the dream is B to A to B. Yeah. <laughs> Straddle a little bit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, B to A to B. Bab it up. Bad baby. Be a bad be a bad bitch. Babs. Barbara, be a baby. Bad, bad bitch. Life is about Barbara. Yeah. Uh so fuck shit, butthole, and, penis. And what was the doo-doo nugget? And doo-doo nugget. So for, for the people who came for the fart doo-doo <laughs> stuff. All right. There you go. I got you in. I got you in there. Yeah. I got you in there. Yes. See, every once in a while I like when we have one of these. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. nice. Therapy it's session. nice little therapy session. If I don't eat something, I'm gonna kill over. Yeah, I'm a little hungry. Stop. I've I've ate a handful of almonds today. I had a protein shake in the morning yeah that's not food not good not food i mean there was almonds in it it was coconut almonds chocolate protein powder and almond milk that sounds fantastic it was a delicious that sounds awesome it was a delight yo peanut butter in smoothies unreal yeah. i'm a huge peanut butter person if you put peanut butter in front of me i will eat it the entire thing yeah? 100%. Have you ever, like, just taken down a jar? Yeah, dude. What? You, you know how many fucking things of Skippy I fucking ate the shit out of? Are you serious? Yes, dude. Yes. Uh, don't you, like, I, I, I put peanut butter in my mouth and I'm like... Nah, 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 man. I would literally get, like... you know Crackers? Like the, no, like those big-ass fucking, like, souvenir cups that you would get from, like, Yankee Stadium. Yes, ew. I would get those, fill it with ice and water, and eat an entire thing of peanut butter. Just scoop it out. Just fucking scooping it with a big spoon too, not that little bitch. Okay. Yeah. That is that is intense. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, I have an excess problem. That's why I don't try to keep a lot of food in my house because I'll keep eating, 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 <laughs> eating, 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 eating. 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 <laughs> yeah. But like, that's what my most recent like my weight loss going right now is just from just eating a little bit less, let my stomach shrink naturally and. Try not to eat at three o'clock in the morning or eat a whole fucking tub of peanut butter and ice cream. My biggest thing is like I can diet for even two weeks, but then after those two weeks, I'm like, well, I could take a day off. Yeah. And then I just house entire pies of pizza. Yeah. I saw Domino's yesterday and fucked I, it all the way up. And dude. I saw it and I was like, I can't watch this anymore. I watched it for one second. It was so good. It's it's the best. Dude. It's so good. And my and the garlic sauce is so good. Uh, and yo, my sister got this like cinnamon pull apart. So good. So good. And the cheesy bro. Yeah, 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 It was great. Unbelievable. And then and then like we didn't finish it. No. And then I and then I and you know I sat on the couch because I was like, I need some time to take a nap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't fall asleep, but then I woke up. 
Domino's put you your ass down. I said I didn't fall asleep, but I woke up. But then at like seven o'clock, I went over and I had two more slices. Yeah. So I had maybe seven slices of Domino's fuck pizza. Yeah, fuck 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 me. Domino's is so good, dude. <sighs> the fact I, I could eat a whole, I could eat two pies of Domino's right now, not even be hurt, just ready to rock. If yeah. I had to pick like a cheat meal, it's it would Domino's. be that it's Domino's baby. It would be that all the way, baby. I don't know why it's so much. It, it's just so much more like satisfying. It's when so you eat fulfilling. A piece of shit pizza. It's just like it's a piece of shit pizza that just fills your stomach like you with know fiber it's not glass. Good pizza. Yeah, the crust is half fucking plexiglass, probably. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's made out of like a, a, a powder. Tire yeah, and a backboard. But it's so good. Yeah, so good. Like you could roll that pizza up and probably bounce like a basketball. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's one of those yeah. things. That's how it came out. Yeah, for sure. By the way, I was on the treadmill this morning. Bouncing Domino's farts out this butt. <laughs> You've been farting all day. I feel bad for the guy. Yeah. Who, oh, I had I had soda yesterday, dude. Oh, you lucky fuck. I haven't had soda. What in kind? Ginger ale. Oh, it's the best. Yeah, dude, and it's bubbly, so I was blowing farts. Raspberry ginger ale is better though. You're an idiot. Whoa, 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 whoa! Raspberry ginger ale is so good. Who the, who, what? Raspberry Schweppes, dude. Schweppes. Schweppes. Whip. No, this was Canada Dry, kid. Canada Dry, even better. Get raspberry ginger ale next time. It's going to rock your socks. No. It's so good. No. Yes. Go rock your socks. No. I'm telling you. All right. I think we can get out of here. All right. Uh, you can find me at Danny Little Priori on Instagram and Twitter. Um, you could find the Stank Podcast at the Stank Podcast on Instagram and Twitter. And also go check out the Patreon for Stank. Uh, we give away $100 worth of prizes now that we're Woo! over 300 patrons. So if you want to come through, enter for your chance to win something nice, you can go ahead and do that. And I just wanted to take a second to uh, say rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Um, that story kind of rocked the nation yesterday. Yeah, This is going to come out a little bit later, but uh, that guy meant a lot to my childhood, so I would have felt you know, a certain way if I didn't acknowledge it. And I just wanted to say, you know, uh, my prayers are out to his family and uh, it's a tough situation. Yeah. Um, you guys can follow the show at the base mirror. Definitely go check out the Patreon, patreon.com slash the base mirror. We have that morning meeting every single day, Monday to Friday. Yes, sir. Uh, and yeah, go check out other people's lives. Another show that's out now every Thursday. It comes out 7 a.m. We interview some interesting peeps. Okay. So go check it out. Uh, uh, that's yeah. available wherever you can see. Oh, actually the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash other people's lives. And that is all. See you next time.